Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're going shrimping in Taiwan. Taipei, Taiwan. After a day of checking out sites and watching guards on the verge of heat stroke, it's nice to get away on a little fishing adventure. But today, I don't have my usual car battery and electrical rod setup, so I'll have to settle for doing it the old-fashioned way, sitting in a warehouse attempting to hook a shrimp from a pool with 80 other strangers. Are these actually little shrimp? Yeah. So we're catching big shrimp with little shrimp? They're being cannibals. There's yeah. no moral issue with that at all. Um, You've got little shrimps or chicken liver, and then you have to bait your hook, the hook but you've got two hooks. So you have twice the possibilities of catching shrimp. What's two times zero? Nobody knows for sure. It's not a lot though. Between liver and the little shrimps, do you have a preference? Yeah, they say to use shrimp. The shrimp. You know what? It's not our fault. If they're gonna be cannibals, yeah. that's their problem, man. I was brought here tonight by Todd and Patty, my ambassadors to all things Taiwan. Can you tell me anything about Taiwan beer? Produced by the government since uh, 1949, and really? uh, they produce the national cigarette, which is called uh, Chang Chuo, which means long life. So if you smoke a Chang Chuo cigarette, you'll have a long life. That makes sense. Yeah. Shrimping. Here's how it works. For each hour, you pay about $10. You're then granted a rod, bait, and the opportunity to eat all the shrimp you can catch. This is the obstacle and this is the goal. I love that he has like his own gear for shrimp fishing. Yeah. It's amazing. Really fancy. Dang. Yeah, you got one. We got pro over okay, here. Okay, so you're supposed to like really yank it. We got 20 minutes left on our hour. What is the most shrimp you've ever caught in one hour? Three. Three? Probably. Like, I mean, we have friends who come out here and they will catch 20 shrimp in an hour. We are sucking hard. Oh my God. We share a rod because we catch nothing but a buzz. <laughs> like, and that's why most people come here. It's better than going out to any bar in the city. But just when things were looking bleak, this happened. They might come by and stock the pond. Ah, they're tossing more shrimp in. Dude, the man, he just threw in about a hundred shrimp oh, from a basket. Oh, over there catching them. This guy caught one. Okay, one guy, that's pretty good. There's a shrimp emergency right now, guys. We have six minutes remaining in our hour. So far, the only person who caught a shrimp um, is the person holding the camera right now. So after this, what do we do with all the shrimp that we catch? We're gonna take them over there to the grill. Yeah. Stick a skewer up their ass. Yeah. And uh, watch them turn red as they squirm. Watch it. Watch it. We caught one shrimp, and another hapless shrimp swam into the net somehow. Are you effing kidding me? That's amazing. So it's a Christmas miracle. We're gonna have two shrimps for four people. Dump them in there, and they get pretty resistant. So you take one like this? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, see, it fell that time. not having fun. Yeah, that time he felt it. Okay. So just do one like that. Oh. <laughs> Before I cook you to death, let me rub you in salt. It's basically like a sauna around. though, so guys, no big deal. It's like a sauna. Cool, I think we can wrap that. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, this is kind of working out actually. Then you have a big delicious shrimp. All right, cheers. That's our true shrimp. Shrimping. I'm gonna wash my hands. It's <laughs> a good ending. I'm gonna, I better wash up. Here, I think this is called like a sausage in a sausage. Is this sausage in a sausage? Yeah. Bingo. This is what's up now in Taiwan street night markets. Sausage in a sausage. Uh, the kids would say something like sausage inception, right? Get your memes straight.